Thank you for joining our session. Uh, we are today talking about why security companies chose to run on Google Cloud. My name is Vineet Dhan. I lead security partnerships in Google. Uh, we are very fortunate to have a panel of leading security company experts today to share their thoughts with us. Uh, before we get started in the discussion, uh, I think one key element will be to understand cloud security a little bit more. There are a couple of key constructs there. One is the shared responsibility model, where there are certain things that are responsibility of the cloud provider, in this case, Google Cloud itself, and a, a responsibility of a section that is customer's own responsibility to take care of. Another key construct is uh, there will be elements of products that Google Cloud provides, but partners play a critical role in complementing the security that the platform itself provides. And typically, there are many different ways customers use partner products. In one case, it could be because they're very comfortable using a partner product. They use it on-prem as well. They want to carry forward the same product. Um, in other cases, there are partner products that complement what Google cannot provide or as another layer on top of Google products. And increasingly, we are also partnering with leading companies to build their next generation of services on Google Cloud. So how do we solve security problems that the customers are facing today and leading the way on how security should be done going forward. Uh, with that, uh, I would like to kind of start with introductions uh, with the folks who are joining us today. Jane, would you like to start with your intro? Thanks for having me here. My name is Jane Chung. I'm with Palo Alto Networks. My responsibility is just securing our customers' journey from on-prem to the multi-cloud. Thank you. Dave, would you go next? Sure. Hi, I'm Dave Schwartz. I'm the GVP of Global CSPs as well as Distribution and Resale Strategy. Been with Splunk a little over seven years. And for those of you that don't know Splunk, we are the uh, data platform, data everything platform, focused on security, IT ops, and DevOps. Thank you. Chris, if you could introduce yourself. Sure, Vinny. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having us. My name is Chris Stewart. I'm Vice President of Business Development and Global Alliances for Xveam, um, a leading SIM or XDR platform. I uh, had the good fortune of working with this, this great company for the last five years. Uh, it's been a great journey and looking forward to what uh, we do going forward with, uh, with, uh, with our cloud strategy. Perfect. Thank you. I think first uh, question that I think will be very useful for the security practitioners and leaders listening in will be your own journey into the cloud. Uh, so, Jane, if you could start with you of Palo Alto journey of using cloud and building services in the cloud that is used by their end customers. Uh, any insights, any things that will be helpful for the audience? Thank you. Our journey began in 2018 when we developed our flagship solution. It's a next generation firewall that runs on Google Cloud. Starting from there, we have expanded offering customers capability to secure their cloud workload in the Google Cloud. Along with that, we also developed a solution on Google Cloud using the Google's machine learning and artificial intelligence capability so that we could predict what kind of other threats are gonna be lurking around in Google Cloud and other cloud. And so we partnered with Google to develop the forensics capabilities so that we could find any alerts that are coming from the uh, cloud environment, we could identify what the issues are and quickly resolve and deal with those uh, hot incidents right away. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Chris, going over to you, uh, your experiences and your company's experience of having a solution in the cloud. Yeah, thanks for the, uh, the question, Vineet. It's been an interesting journey, as you can all see. If we think back to the last, you know, let's call it decade, Cloud has come a long way. Uh, I know that kind of sounds like a silly statement, but uh, it's 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 pretty interesting to see where uh, the the market's customer um, comfort level has gone from you know again ten years ago just to to, to present day. Um, we we started out servicing the biggest customers in the world who had big data problems, uh, really applying analytics to um, the telemetry and the and the at the time on prem workloads that that they're all uh, working off of. Their journey has been our journey, and we've been trying to accelerate customers' move into the cloud for all the reasons that you know people uh, people understand the scale, the flexibility. So it's been it's been quite a journey, and obviously we see we have customers at various various stages of cloud adoption. 
Um, as a company, we've made a very conscious decision in the last, let's call it four, five, six years to migrate um, quickly and help our customers migrate quickly to the cloud to being basically a full cloud platform. Um, great, uh, you know, great economies of scale, great, you know, performance, you know, and incredible flexibility. So it is great. It's been really good to see the comfort levels from our customers accelerate over the last few years to, to reap the benefits of leveraging you know, Google Cloud Platform, which is what we run on. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Dave, your and Splunk's experience of using Google Cloud. Yeah, our experience has, has been great. And, and along the lines of what Chris and Jane said, we, you know, Splunk has been along this customer journey from being a cloud company, both internally to our own applications, recently moving to Google Workspace, but also along the product, starting off as a perpetual software company, moving now to more of a, a cloud company. So all of our applications, cloud uh, native is, is available on GCP. And we see many, many more of our applications in the future moving in that direction as well. So we see it uh, very much in line with what our customers are trying to do as well. Perfect, perfect, thank you. So I think that now moving on to a kind of security topic discussion, I think you guys are, all of you are in great experts in the security industry. Uh, I think your insights on what you're hearing from customers today on as they're adopting more cloud, the challenges they are running, it's kind of a different world. And also, uh, where do you see this evolve over the next few years as the adoption grows and people are kind of expanding their footprint? Uh, that insights will be helpful for folks who are listening in to think about security today, as well as think about security uh, that they should have in place in a few years out. Um, so Dave, starting with you. Yeah, we actually just recently published a state of security report, and we talked a lot about exactly what you just asked. 49% um, of the respondents are talking about that security is twice as hard as it was in the past, and especially in a multi-cloud environment, which most of our customers are running multi-cloud. So it's extremely important. Another huge insight is around uh, attacks that are taking place. 78% of the security and IT leaders are super concerned about things like the solar winds attack and how they protect themselves against that. So from a partnership perspective, it's an opportunity for Splunk and Google to be able to create solutions and offers to allow our customers as they move into this new world of uh, protecting the cloud environment. Makes sense, thank you. Chris, over to you. Yeah, Dave, Dave, that's a good point. I think the complexity of the attacks and the diversity from, you know, what used to be a premise-based solution with four walls to, to cloud and the in-between, I think that's what we're seeing as far as, you know, the, you know the, the, what customers are wrestling with as they migrate. The other thing that we've seen a great deal of is, you know, the new blind spots that, that organizations have as they adopt cloud and cloud services. It's just very different. And if you're not prepared and well set up and certainly don't have the ability to you know, really look at telemetry at scale. Um, it's it's very difficult to ensure that you've got everything covered. Um, there's new categories that are emerging. Our customers are, are really wrestling with that. Really, when you know, the, an, as an industry, we were wrestling with with a pretty you know much smaller problem. You know, going back a few years, as the data has grown, the complexity and the and the and the and the size of the problem has grown for our customers. So, you know, we're we're seeing that, and we're seeing you know the need for our customers to really be able to look at more data, understand more data um, at scale. And, you know, again, like Dave said, across multiple clouds, which is, you know, just being is far more common in sort of this new era of cloud computing. It's not just one, it's, it's usually two, maybe three in some cases. So it's it's definitely, you know, open the, the risk aperture for customers to understand just where where the potential uh, holes in their in their strategy and and where they're vulnerable. That's been that's been probably the most common discussion we've had with people on their cloud migration of late. Perfect. Thank you. James, the same question for you. Chris and Dave, you guys did a fantastic job explaining what the new threats that we have to deal with. Palo Alto Networks, we started out explaining and work with, or working with the customers about how the cybersecurity threat is happening in cloud versus in on-prem. It's different. You need to have a different tools, different um, prevention capabilities when you actually move to the cloud. So we usually begin with that conversation, what are the differences are between the clouds as well. As you could tell, Google Cloud is known to be developer friendly cloud. What that means is we need to start the education for the developers to understand. They need to be very uh, careful when they're deploying their workload and the resources on the Google Cloud and making sure 
they are securing their entire stacks from the development code all the way to the CI CD pipeline. So we work with our customers, understanding why it's so important to secure the entire supply chain of software development. And from there, we also work with the Google's SRE team and our uh, technical team to be understanding of some of the potential threats that they're facing, they might not be able to see in, in the on-prem. And partnering with the Google Cloud has been very wonderful because you guys are structured so that you could work with these developers and developer communities to secure their software supply chain. Perfect, thank you. Uh, I think now moving on to kind of an interesting topic that we hear a lot from customers saying, hey, there are a lot of great security companies that we work with. Uh, how are you working with the leading security companies to make the life of the end customer easy? Like how are you building the next generation of solutions or integrating existing solutions? So the complexity of using those solutions is all between uh, the security uh, provider and Google because it's so well integrated. So the, for the customer, it's very easy to use and seamless to use. Um, so I think innovations there, I feel is, is the critical uh, piece that can accelerate folks to use cloud more seamlessly. Um, so I'll just start with Dave, with you, your insights on how you have been working with Google Cloud uh, and how these next generation of services will be critical to take security to the next level. Yeah, I mean, it's great. And, and we joined partnership with Google Cloud for customer choice. It's really important for us to be able to meet the needs of our customers. And we've seen a huge uptick in some of the largest brands, both retail, banking, and other segments, you know, leveraging Splunk Cloud on Google. Uh, but the other part of it is what can we develop to solve problems together? We have uh, joint development teams working on next-gen solutions that allow our customers the best outcomes to help protect against things we talked about during the last question. So we see massive development opportunities between our companies, which allow best case, best case scenarios for our customers. Perfect. Uh, Chris, over to you. Yeah, I think uh, I think just to touch on what, what was said before, um, you know, we think that building on a platform like GCP uh, enables us to do what we do really well, what XBeam does well, which is, you know, discover anomalous behavior, try and determine, you know, where the needle in the needle stack is and try and really help our customers find, find the problems with a cloud premise or hybrid. I think that's one of the things that we, we look to leverage from the relationship is the size and scale of what is, what we're, what's capable really of, of your platform. And that's, you know, definitely one of the, the key elements to driving our other part of our relationship, which is, you know, our, our, our commercial arrangement and our go to market where we feel that there's a really good synergy between what Google cloud is, is, is very good at and what we're good at. I also think that as we drive forward, we're get, there's going to be greater adoption of uh, services, native services that we can build together. We have efforts underway right now um, that are looking at different ways to optimize and, you know, really, really ex uh, increase the customer satisfaction and customer accuracy, which, everyone's looking for and everyone's expecting from the cloud. So it's a great time to be partnering with Google Cloud for you know security innovation and just innovation in general for that matter. Perfect, thank you. J Jane, um, same question for you and just also putting a customer lens on it. What should customers expect uh, from Google and Palo Alto networks in terms of how do we help make their lives better as new solutions are rolled out? So we are partnering with the Google Cloud for the Zero Trust. It's integrating two of our flagship solutions called the Prisma Access for remote user access to the cloud. And then also we have an endpoint solution called XDR. We are integrated with the Beyond Corp Enterprise to make it look like one seamless solution via Google Console. Perfect, thank you. I hope uh, folks who are uh, watching the video found it useful. Uh, we are very excited to work with uh, the folks on the panel and leading security companies to bring the next generation of solutions to you. Uh, the hope is we, we will all work together in the industry and make the life of our customers easy and help take security to the next level. Thank you.